Welcome. In this lesson, we will learn about move verb. In previous lesson, we have learned how to declare a variable. In this lesson, we will learn how to move a value to a variable or move a value from one variable to another variable. Assignment in COBOL is achieved using the move verb. Move copies data from source item or literal to one or more destination item. The source and destination item can be group or elementary data items. Here is the syntax of move verb. You start writing with move word followed by first variable followed by two word followed by the second variable and a period. Here the value of first variable that is data hyphen item one will be moved to data item two variable. If the number of character in the source item is too few to fill the destination item like if the data item or variable one is having very less number of character compared to the second variable in which you are going to move the data then rest of the destination item will be filled with zeros or spaces based on the type of the data item. Similarly if the number of characters in the source item is too many to fit in the destination item then the character that cannot be fit are lost. This is known as truncation. Here is the example of alphanumeric moves. In this example we have covered both truncation and space filling. We have declared a variable named surname with pick of x that means it can hold at characters and we have assigned initial value of coglan. Since coglan have at characters the variable surname will be filled completely as you can see on the right side of the example. All the columns are filled with coglan value. Now we are using mover to assign smith to surname variable. Since smith is of 5 character it will start filling surname variable from the leftmost character. So first character will have S, second character will have M, third character will have I, fourth character will have T and fifth character will have H. The rest of the character 6, 7, 8 will be filled with spaces. Now in the second example we are trying to assign value Fitzwilliam to surname variable. Fitzwilliam consists of 11 characters. Move statement try to fill surname variable with this value and it will start from the leftmost character starting with f i t z w i double l. Rest of the character i a m are beyond the boundary of surname variable and will be lost. This is truncation. Here you need to keep a note that when the destination item is alphanumeric or alphabetic that is pick of x or pick of a then the data is copied to the destination area from left to right with space filling or truncation on the right. Now let's see the example of numeric move with truncation and space filling. In this example we have declared a variable named sale price with pick 9 of 4 v 99 where the v is assumed decimal. First we will try to move zeros to sell price variable. Since zeros is a figurative constant we don't need to declare it and can be used directly. Here this move statement will fill the sales price variable with all zeros. In the second example we are trying to move 25.5 value to sell price variable. If you observe 25.5 literal value is not within inverted quotes. Please make a note that numeric literal value doesn't need to be read under the quotes. Whereas alphanumeric or alphabetic literal values need to be wrapped under the inverted quote. So when you try to move 25.5 value to sales price variable it will try to move 25 from the rightmost digit aligned with the decimal. As you can see in the declaration of sales price variable decimal is after the fourth digit. So fourth digit will be filled with 5, third digit will be filled with 2 and rest of the first and second digit will be filled with zeros. Similarly 0.5 that is a value after decimal will be filled from left to right. So 5 will be filled on 5th position and 0 will be filled on 6th position. Now let's see one more example where we are moving 7.553 to sales price variable. In this example only 7 is before decimal. So 7 will be filled on digit 4 and 1st, 2nd, 3rd digit will be filled with zeros. Now after the decimal 5 will be placed that is it will be on the 5th digit and on 6th digit another 5 will be placed and 3 will be truncated as there is no space to hold this value. Now let's see one more example of truncation. 
here the value is higher than destination item we are moving 93425.158 to sales price value now the move statement will place the 5 before the decimal to the fourth digit place after that it will place 2 on the third digit 4 on the second digit 3 on the first digit now there is no place for 9 and that will be truncated Similarly, 1 after the decimal will be placed on 6th position, 5 will be placed on the 6th position and 8 will be truncated. Now understand with one more example where we are moving 128 to sales price. This letter value doesn't have any decimal. Value 128 will be placed from right to left before the decimal. So 8 will be placed on 4th position, 2 will be placed on 3rd position and 1 will be placed on 2nd position. First position will be filled by 0. Similarly, 5th and 6th that is after decimal position will be filled with 0. I hope this lesson give you a fair idea about move work. Keep practicing. See you in the next lesson.